We're trying to research to find bass all over the world. This time we're flying to Papua New Guinea. The main reason we came here is for the black bass. Anybody that comes down here and fishes for these fish needs to have their head examined. Everybody that we've talked to that has any information on it, they all say the same thing. These things are so big, so strong. They're breaking 150, 200 pound tests. You just stop the fish however you can. This is the bass species. This is why we do what we do, to find out what is around the bend. Fingers crossed that everything works out all right. There's a reason for me to live. This is the moment. Four wheel drive, mud, chainsaw, shotguns, fishing. That's expedition. Chris Owen's brain was taken apart. There's parts missing. Screws aren't there. He's lost. Have you ever been sprayed in the face with bear mace? Seven times. When I have my life in his hands, I'm scared. Out fishing with the drug cartel. Bad. From Salt Lake City, Utah. Guy that can really cut loose sometimes. <laughs> But also really worry about what's going down. I'm a little African. I'm a little nervous. It's good to be cautious. Oh, yeah, for you. That's serious. I want to come home in one piece. Brian. He's like the MacGyver on the trip. He's the kind of guy you want in a foxhole organizing the ammo. He's a researching machine, okay? He's got all the latest GPS, satellite, map technology. I'm not kidding you. That guy is Jerry rigged so much stuff. We're not going to pretend to be pro bass fishermen. Um, we actually really don't know what we're doing half the time, but we're doing it anyway. It's going under the tree. I'm trying to get me under a log. Oh, ow. Go, 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 go. That's what I'm talking about. I honestly have no idea what a black bass is. From everything that we've heard, it's the hardest fighting fish in the world. There's not a whole lot of information out there on the internet for it. It's really hard to prepare and get ready for a fish that you know little about. You see the pictures, you hear the stories. These fish are massive. There are legends of it out there just being the hardest fighting fish in the world. So little that's known about this fish. A Papua New Guinea black bass, what is that? Yeah, I've never even heard of them before. Basically, everyone tells us that they're unstoppable once you hook them. It's huge, it's got shoulders, and it's got teeth. Seems like this could quite possibly be the strongest game fish out there. It sounds like legend and lore. I don't believe that it could be this tough. I haven't seen a picture online with somebody holding one of these fish with a fly rod. Nobody's really targeting them on fly at all. I don't know if many people on the planet have ever done something like this. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> This will be the longest flight I probably have ever taken in my life to come check this fishery out. It is not an easy fish to get to. We've got to uh, fly halfway across the world. It is truly this world's last frontier. Getting to this country is difficult enough. You know, getting around is even that much more difficult. Fortunately, we've got some help to make this all happen. Chris Owens, man, nice to meet you. We flew in to PNG, Jay wasn't there. It seems like the last four flights I've taken, I've missed. Jay's always late, he's always missing, he's always something. We're down one guy, okay. and his flight got delayed because of a tornado. This time, a tornado came through. Last time there was something about a unicorn or something. Looks like I'm not getting to pop in again anytime soon. Jay's MIA, he's not coming. It was just a little intimidating coming here, not really knowing what to expect. Not just anybody can come up here and just start fishing. There's all these villages and tribes that, that live all up and down these rivers. We're not able to go up these rivers at all unless somebody from the tribe actually accompanies us so that you can get access to certain rivers and you can get permission to fish certain waters. 
we're gonna have to go uh, ask him if it's all right to fish on there, River. Without that, you're not allowed to go in there. Or you probably end up with a spear in the side of your head. Fortunately, through the research that we did, we came across sport fishing PNG. These are the guys that grew up out here. These are the guys that actually know what's going on and how to deal with fish and how to deal with people and how to deal with these rivers. We have to be on the ground with people that know the area, that can get us to the fish and keep us safe. Do you recognize that fish? I know that fish. Do you know where he lives? <laughs> when we told him we were coming down there to fish, he was super stoked. When we told him we were coming down there with fly rods, he wasn't. <laughs> I guess all the fly fishermen that have gone out with those guys, not one has ever landed a bass. This is, hands down, from everybody that we've talked to, one of the most powerful fish you can catch in the world. Yeah, I brought some heavy artillery. But even the stuff I brought, Jan's like, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut it. <laughs> one way or another, one of these fish is coming to the boat. Right. We're about ready to make history. Right here, we have an IGFA record application. You're gonna see in the record books, you're gonna see Dad, Brian, Chris, 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 Brian, Dad, okay? No, Chase not making it, man. The fly records are completely open. They say that this black bass can't be landed on a fly rod. They're too big for a fly rod. They have that much power in their face and in their jaws that they just destroy rods. And that is the fish that we're gonna try and get on a fly rod? Yeah, we are. <laughs> you know, we got to tie flies tonight. We got to go through all our gear, get our camera gear in order. Holy <laughs> Jay shows up at camp. I have no idea how he found us. I'm absolutely beat. Well, you're late again, so you better go get tying. The game plan is to try to make that as bulky as possible. And apparently bass like pink. Who would have known? I think we've tied up enough flies. Now we just gotta make sure our gear is dialed in for these fish. We're taking off tomorrow. We got a big day tomorrow. We're gonna be traveling overland all day long. We're gonna take a five, six hour drive, and then we have a 90 kilometer cruise up the river just to get to our first base camp where we're gonna start fishing. It sounds like the roads are gonna be terrible. Well, we finally made it to the river. Now we get to see what lies ahead for us. This river is totally filled with snags. Everything is giant root balls, trees that are down. We are casting into structure. We're in the jungle, and there's some nasty vegetation in here. It's like a saw blade. All we came back with was some core of our line. The leader and the fly remain down in the depths. You're using this heavy sinking line and trying to get that fly down into the zone. You have to have a bite guard. Bite wire. Or a weed guard on your fly. A new tool that I've never seen before. The extendo pole that goes down into the water. It's this long telescopic lure retrieving pole. And uh, occasionally you have to uh, sacrifice a couple flies. That ain't gonna break. I got a 130 pound fluorocarbon leader. We got, we got a situation, fellas. The fish don't hang out way outside of those snags. Those fish live inside of where those snags are so that they can ambush their prey. The thing is, is you have to get your fly in there as close as possible or you don't even have a chance. What'd they do, stop to take a swim? At least I think that's what they're doing. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so people say it's not an adventure until something goes wrong. Something just went incredibly wrong. What are they doing? What are they doing? Is that What happened? Chris's bags are gone. They hit a log and bags went flying. What's going on, Jay? You tell me, man. I roll up on you guys and you guys are all freaking out. Where's your passport? That had his passport in it. Told you you should have given me a passport. What oh, kind of a We'll see how he gets back. <laughs> Look at the back of this boat. Tell me what's missing off the back of this boat behind us. Boat hit a log, lost the motor, which is extremely dramatic. Motor down. That's a very valuable thing in these parts of the world. Not a good situation. Well, our supply boat just dumped their motor and the whole motor fell in the water. So I don't know how we're gonna get our gear up river. Time to go swimming? Yeah. Just in full engine. The motor came off right there, apparently, and they've swept from that point. You know, they got bamboo poles trying to probe down in there. They got divers going down trying to find the stuff. They're coming up with nothing. It's got to be right in that area. Right? I'm super frustrated right now. 
you know, on a trip into Papua New Guinea, or two people, you gotta have your supplies. This is it, man. This is all the gear. This is it. I'm going into the jungles of Papua New Guinea for 10 days and I don't have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to tow the other boat down the river. It's gonna be an adventure. I mean, we'll survive. It's just not gonna be very comfortable. I gotta get that bag. And we made thousands of casts today. The fly reel is massive. Big drag. Loop, drag reel setting. Keep going. As far as our success rate goes, it's been pretty low. We're gonna try everything we possibly can to change it around. The fly rods we brought are used for catching billfish. There's no rhyme or reason to what we're doing right now, especially when you're tossing around a 16 weight, casting 600 grain fly lines, like you're trout fishing, like you're floating down the river trying to catch trout, casting 130 pound leaders and 10 knot hooks all day long. Who does that? This is the pinnacle for a fly rod, a big fish design. This is gear that you would be using cruising for tuna off the coast of Panama. 14, 16 weights, casting them from 6 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. at night. Dad was casting a 16 weight and his wrist was went... Towards the end of the day, man, I threw one cast out, my wrist just popped. I mean, I literally heard it pop. I heard it snap like a rubber band. Something popped. My wrist is open up. And my wrist is folded over from throwing such a heavy rod. So I'm really struggling right now. This is not good. It's mind boggling. I don't, I, I'm lost for words. I got a little prediction. I predict it's gonna be 10 times easier than anybody thinks, and we're gonna smoke them. Have you seen the shape of these fish? Do you know how strong they are? You don't it doesn't weigh 50 pounds in water. Do you know what I'm saying? How can a fish this size break line this size? Impossibility. Think you're gonna land a fish with 80 pound test. Huh? They might be too powerful to land on a fly rod. We got big tuna on fly rods, marlin, all sorts of billfish, huge tarpon. Like Chris is making this the biggest thing in the world. You can't land these things. Yeah. You can't land them. All right, let's see what the piece looks like in the water. He said that he hasn't heard of anybody being able to take these fish on a fly rod. They're just that powerful. It's not a fish anymore. It's, it's this legend, like Bigfoot or the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. And we're chasing them after little fly rods. But these fly rods that we're using, um, we're designed for Mako Shark. Last walk time, take two. This thing's something big down there. Give this guy a shot. It tells me if there's a fish in there, he's gonna eat it. Uh, there's no indication that they're even gonna eat these flies, or even if they do eat flies. Obviously, no one's ever seen fly fishing here. They're used to lure guys with uh, bait casters and whatnot. So at this point, at least I am, I'm trying to mimic some of the lures that these guys are using. Give it a shot, see how it goes. It's a big storm moving in on top of us right now. If a big storm comes in this river, Jay, it blows it out for a week. Like today might be the last day. It's absolutely ludicrous, the punishment, day to day, and it has really taken a lot out of all of us. And you can call us sissies or whatever, but you know, stand up in a boat and do cast over cast, a thousand casts a day, it's tough. He lives right down there. Got him. Oh. Yeah. When these things hit the fly, it's gonna hit it so hard, you have to hold it tight. It cannot give away any slack. He's fishing with a 14 weight that is literally bent over the boat. That fish doesn't want to do anything except for rip that rod out of Brian's hand. Toughest fighting freshwater fish, hands down, in the entire world. That bite was intense. I mean, it's got all the classic signatures of a bass that you would catch. It's only multiply it by 50. It's just a freight train. Brian's officially in the record books. The weather conditions here in Papua New Guinea, they change by the hour, it seems like. We've been having to jump around and check out different rivers just looking for clean water. Main river channel is completely blown out and we've got some tributaries that we're gonna go check out. That's super shallow up at the mouth, so we're gonna have to do multiple portages with the boats. We're gonna have to push them and hopefully there's some big deep pools up there that have some hungry fish in them. We have to gain permission from the local tribes to get access to anything up here. Not just anybody can come up here and just start fishing. And if you go into an area without getting permission from these people, you're asking for trouble. They, they don't take kindly to strange people coming in and just start fishing in there. Right now, we just pulled up to a little village, kind of the first establishment on this river. We're 
we're applying for permission to fish up this river. We're kind of massaging possibilities by bringing either machetes or uh, flashlights, any, anything like that for trade, if we could come up and check out this water. Well, we gave him some food. We got permission to go up the river, but apparently we have to stick one of the landowners on each of our boats, so. It's not gonna be easy. We're not even really sure if there's any fish up here, but it's the cleanest water around, so we've gotta go check it out. What's that? We're gonna have to jump off the boat several times just to get past the shallow section. That one's, that was probably the easiest one that we've got to uh, drag the boats across so far, so. Man, it is a tight fit getting up through these logs and all this down snags and stuff. Got a log jam up here that we're trying to get around. You ready for this? Let's do it. This hurts my feet bad. I don't need to. All I'm doing is slowing the boat down by holding on. They don't wear shoes. People's feet out here become these gnarly pads of burly manliness. I can't even keep up. They kind of make us look like a bunch of little sissies. We're still pushing. It's getting shallower though. First group, best group ever. No one's been up this way. It's a so lucky. That's that's super cool. Knock them dead, boys. Take no prisoners. Fingers crossed. Feel it. Something good's gonna happen today. This is a good hole right here. Look at this. Oh, oh. boy. Yeah, bass. Watch out. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on. Woo. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> <Woo>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to start the day. Yeah. I'm speechless. It happened. <laughs> Come on, man. That was incredible. You just didn't think a fly was going to work. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't going to work. Man, that was awesome. <laughs> I he came yeah. out and just absolutely hammered that fly, man. Uh, There's no doubt about it. I had a fish on. Pretty decent size PNG black bass. Beautiful fish. If that fish fought like that, I can't imagine what a bigger fish is going to fight like. <laughs> Got him. Oh, hold on. Pull him out. Pull him out. Pull him out. Pull him out. Take, 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 take. Oh, no, 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 no. Pull, pull, pull it with your fingers. I'm trying. Uh, he's caught. Hand. He's caught. Don't pull off. Don't pull off. He's gonna come out. Come on. We gotta pull him out. Stay he's out. caught on something. He's on the log. Hold on. Did you feel him moving at all? No, no, yeah, we're moving too much. He's gonna come out. Come on. still on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Holy smokes, man. It's stuck? Yeah. That happened so quick. You just got what you call railroaded, my friend. <sighs> we're on top, man. How do you explain what just happened to you? I feel like I had a chance, but as soon as we took off, the line started burning. I couldn't hold on any longer. Well, is there a chance he's still on here? Maybe we could stick sticks down over here and spook yeah. him out. Oh, peace. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Oh, watch the rod, watch the rod. The rod snapped, the rod snapped. Oh, well. okay, here, you get on the motor. Get on the motor. Get on the motor. Get the rod, get the rod. Get, get on the motor. Oh, oh the anchor's got broken rod. The anchor's got him. Here. No, oh, <laughs> Keep fighting him! Keep fighting him! What do you think? Keep fighting him! Pull up the anchor! Pull up the anchor! I'm trying to pull up the anchor! You still have him? You still have him? No, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put the camera around me. Come on, come on, get on the boat. You still on? Come on, come on, get on the boat. He just came off. No! No! Oh, blown up. That's pure power, man. Holy smokes. Most chaotic fish fight I have ever been in. <laughs> Madness. Disaster zone. Do not come to Papua New Guinea with your small gear. Or you just got chopsticks at the end. I was not quite mentally prepared for this. I'm gonna go back from this trip and I'm not gonna be thinking about anything else until I come back down here. We're not sure if it's even possible to pull off a mission like this. The one guarantee that I have is that I'll be back and there's no way that I'm gonna let this fish beat me. It's heartbreaking, you know, nothing you can do. You gotta keep on fishing.